Hello, hi, welcome back. Broncos franchise, yes, sir. Episode eight is here. Um, it's been a while for me. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna get right into it. Honestly, if you missed the last episode, it was actually extremely important. I recommend you go watch the last episode because a lot went down. Uh, in the last two episodes, we played four games. We're only going to do one in this episode. Just going to get slightly back into it. Um, it. But in the last episode, at the end of the episode, Russell Wilson got traded. We traded Russ off the Denver Broncos. He is no longer on the team. John Wolford, Wake Forest legend, will be our starter for the rest of the season. Russell Wilson is going to go on to play for the New England Patriots. And I guess mentor McCorkle Jones, if anything. Um, and in return, we ended up getting Jonathan Jones as a second corner because Jeff Okuda is kind of shit. All these guys are kind of inconsistent as hell. Um, so Jonathan Jones will play the next two seasons for us. He's 29, but he's here to potentially mentor some of these younger guys um but before before we get into this game before we get into this game we have some uh breakouts to check out so let's see let's see who these are boogie basham is the first guy very interesting i don't remember i don't remember him having anything the last episode the last the most recent game we played we got blown out by the chiefs so um yeah, and then uh, last week was awesome. I don't think it... Well, last week was the... Bi- okay, Greg Dulcich wants three receiving touchdowns or 150 yards. So that is uh, that is interesting. Let's check out this uh, Bills team that we're going to be going against. This is not an easy game at all. We have Josh Allen, the cover athlete, of course. Damian Harris is going to start. James Cook is injured. We have Stefan Diggs, Gabe Davis, and Jarvis Landry to go against. Interesting. Dawson Knox. Um, uh, okay, O-line, obviously. I think we're a little bit banged up. Their D-line is going to be an absolute problem for our tackles and for everybody, honestly. Alex Singleton, the former Denver Bronco revenge game, he's, he's going to be playing against us. Matt Milano is very nice, and it's not going to be easy to throw, not only because we lost Russ, but because this is a very, very good DB group. So, uh, we're going to do our weekly strategy and get right into it. Oh, hell yeah. You're here to support, to support this uh, this tragedy that might that might occur. Yeah, I traded Russ at the end of last episode, see? You're not, you're not caught up. Not caught up in the lore. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Because uh, if we can compete with John Wolford, we can compete. If he loses this game and we get blown out, then uh, then it is what it is. Then we tank for Eric Knight, man, and we get the best corner doing the league. Uh, for Jonathan Jones and some picks, because that was the best value I could get. So we got we got another corner. So the plan is uh the plan is to get Eric Knight so the um so it's it's PS2 Eric Knight and Jonathan Jones next season. That's that's the plan. That's the plan. But the plan right now is to see how good John Wolford can do after a terrible kick return by Marquez Callaway. And first though, we're gonna give the ball to Jam- Tavante Williams. Coming off the bye, seeing what we can do. Gonna go hit play action here. And we have Marvin Mims Jr. Ah! Insane play by Tredavious White. And now it is third and two. I think we're gonna run this play action now. Our goal for this week is to get Greg Dulcich either three passing touchdowns or 150 yards. I don't know if that's going to be doable, but, oh, okay. Well, that 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 is a start of John Wolford. 
And the first drive is going to end in a punt for us. And that's that's what we're, I mean, if it gets seriously bad, then we might stick in Ben DiNucci, but I mean, this is this is what we're rocking with. We had to get rid of Russ to this team was not ready to complete fully to compete, not complete. And now the Bills get the ball. Josh Allen to snap for the first time. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Get Stiggs on the RPO right away. PS2 with the tackle. That's going to be a big matchup to watch today when they line up across each other. Now first down in our t territory. Okay, we gotta make we gotta make tackles. Jarvis Landry, Jarvis Landry, with his first reception this game. And now second down and three. Baron Brown is gonna come in, give some pressure, and a drop by Dawson Knox, I believe. Very very uh, rare drop from him. And this is a big third down here. This is probably four down territory in their opinion. Oh my gosh, and that's just that's just a great block there. Can't do nothing about that. Gets stuck on the man. And Damian Harris, the former New England Patriot, is uh gets gets the uh, first down. And that's Jonathan Jones getting cooked by Stefan Diggs. The recently traded man. Still he's he's he's, he's gotta get adjusted. He's gotta get adjust this. Not like guarding Stefan Diggs is gonna be an easy job. But that's the first touchdown for Buffalo in this game. I don't expect him to make that play, you know. He's he's new to the team, he gotta adjust. It's a, it's, a, it's a whole new system, you know. All right, here we go. Sean Wolford. I want to see something. I want to see an attempt, you know. Oh, Javante Williams is just going to get the outside edge on Jordan Poyer there. And he's going to get a first down. This, this might be Javante Williams' season from now on. Considering we're not going to be able to pass that much better than what we were able to do. Russ was low-key lighting it up, and we're going to stick to the ground, and Javante is going to get a good gain from there. Five yards. Here we go now. Michael Pittman, I like here. Michael Carter on the outside. Can't really see our plays. Greg Dulcich is open. Hits him. First down. There we go. I think he's going to be very important and a key to successful drives without Russ. I think he might be our, become our new main target. There's no more checking it down the field to Michael Pittman anymore and, and praying that it works, you know. Okay. That's my bad. That's my bad. There we go. It's on this option. Maybe maybe there is. I mean, maybe there is. You know, we haven't seen it yet. We have Michael Pittman one-on-one. -on -one. If he beats his man, I'm chucking it up to him. You know what? I'm going to attempt it. Michael Pittman Jr. one-on-one -on -one to Ron Johnson. Gets the pass break up. And John Wolford is now one for four for 17 yards. Let's try this halfback screen. I don't, I don't trust us to get this down the field easily but I trust the screens just block for me oh my gosh and whoever 77 is does not make his block we're gonna be looking at a punt here I think I'm actually gonna go for this I like fourth and four I feel like this should be a field goal Let's try to see if we can get something quick and that's a pass breakup by Alex Singleton the former Denver Bronco Thought Craig Dulcich had his man beat. He got stuck. No PI. And Buffalo's going to get the ball again. Two unsuccessful drives. There's Jeff Okuda in coverage and another drop. This time by Jarvis Landry. It's two drops already now. Let's 
There we go now. Motion is Gabe Davis. They're actually going to run here. And Damon Harris is going to get a good gain of seven. Now big third down. Our defense is going to have to come up big if we actually want to win some games. Oh my god, that's a die. I thought he was throwing a Dawson Knox, and he just perfectly throws the ball to Gabe Davis. That's your Madden cover athlete for a reason. There we go. Ah, Smoke Monday gets torched there by Jarvis Landry. It's at a point where I have to remember my defensive plays because they're not even showing up no more. First and ten. And a great tackle there by Jonathan Jones. Now a minute left in the first quarter. Josh Allen to snap. And Barry Brown is going to come in and get him for a sack. Baron Browning with a huge sack there. And now third and long. They run a screen here to Jarvis Landry. And Jeff Okuda actually blows it up. Great play. And now that Jeff Okuda isn't the number two corner on this team, I think he's going to be able to make a lot more plays and want to solidify himself if he wants to stay with us. Which, he's, which he doesn't want to stay with us. But if he, if he wants to maybe get franchise tagged, you know, Something it's just show me something for Jeff Okuda. He hasn't shown me anything all season besides getting burnt. And Buffalo will now go up ten to zero after a field goal made by Tyler Bass. And this game still far from being over. No points in the first quarter. John Wolford with his first reps on offense. We're not gonna take this out this time. Get to the twenty five. We got in Buffalo territory last time. We just need a score. Here we go. Greg Dulcich one-on-one. -on -one. Don't really like it. Going to chuck it down to Javante Williams. He'll break a tackle. And get a first down. He's going to be so huge in, in this offense from now on. Not like he wasn't already important. But the short passing game is going to cook. John Wolford. Jerry Judy catch. Great catch made by Jerry Judy there. And that's a first down. That's a solid throw too. Okay. Javante Williams somehow gets four yards there. And now, let's try to hit Michael Pittman here. We haven't got him the ball yet, but not going to do that. Going to take the check down to Michael Carter. Try to stiff arm Jordan Poirier. Can't get more than what he caught. And now, yo, know, I feel like these plays, like I've never seen these before. Like, did we get new plays? Okay, Sean Payton whipping out new plays for John Wolford. And now... I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, my gosh. Number 44 read it perfectly, but that's a dot by John Wolford to Michael Pittman. And he's going to get his first reception of the game. Let's try this jet sweep to Marvin Mims. Oh, my gosh. And just amazing play there by number 50, Gregory Rousseau. No. John Wolford. Terry Judy. Touchdown. Broncos. Terry Judy. 
gets the touchdown. First passing touchdown for John Wolford. Under pressure, absolute dime. As I said, we're still in this game. We're still in this game. The game is not over. We're gonna we're gonna still fight every single game. We're gonna make every game competitive, no matter what it what it looks like, you know. No matter what our record is, we're looking to stay competitive until we're not. <laughs> Number zero does not take it out. I couldn't even read what that said. And out back comes Josh Allen. Oh my god, Majai Sanders in coverage. If that's a cover linebacker, that might be getting picked for six. Dawson Knox makes the reception over his head. And now leading to a second and four. They're expecting the run here. Does run. And Baron Browning's going to get a huge hit stick there. Now third and five. Huge down for us. The throw short. Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs, Cooks, Jonathan Jones again. Just like he's probably been doing all season every time they play New England. And a great play by the Allen and Diggs connection. Gonna be not really stoppable. As Drew Sanders gets stiff armed by Jarvis Landry, stiff arms number 31. Almost gets a first down. And Jarvis Landry, who isn't even in his prime anymore with an insane play. Now Baron Browning is going to rush again and get another sack. Baron Browning with another clutch sack. And he probably leads the team now with sacks. And now third and long. Got to make a play here. Oh, my gosh. And that's just an absolute dime. I cannot guard everyone. And Gabe Davis gets the first down. And two-minute warning is what we're at now in the first half. Still competitive game. 7-10. to 10. Solid way of bouncing back after getting demolished by the Chiefs. And now PS2 is just going to get burnt. Stop the touchdown, though. But at what cost? Because he just played way too far from Gabe Davis. Now we have Pat Sertan one-on-one -on -one with Stefan Diggs on the left side. And he's going to run a slant and drop it. Three drops now for the Buffalo Bills. You know what? I'm going to go run up the middle. I think this is a run. I think this is a run. It might not be up the middle, but I definitely think this is a run. And it is a run up the middle, and we're not able to stop it. Great blocking there. I read the play perfectly. But Damien Harris gets a touchdown. We're going to have to bounce back here. I forgot who got the ball first. I think it was us. So we're definitely going to need to score at least three before halftime if we want to stay in this. Marquez Callaway with the return. And he's just going to get absolutely nothing. Number 57 breaks through. Five for five with John Wolford for 73 yards last drive. Wake Forest legend. Going insane. Now Michael Carter's going to get a run here. The explosive Michael Carter. And we're not going to get much with that. Let's go in a hurry up. Had the one-on-one -on -one with Michael Pittman. They took it away. And now Michael Pittman's going to get the... He drops the reception. What is going on? That's four drops in total. And usually we don't see drops from Michael Pittman like that. Ever. And now just going to launch it up to Marvin Mims. Incomplete. Quinn 
Muniz is hurt on the play as well. And Buffalo will actually get getting the ball back with three timeouts before halftime. Not much I had there. And this is where it starts getting scary. Stefan Diggs already almost has a thousand yards on the season as we're like basically halfway through it. Bill's gonna come out and empty, so we're gonna switch this play up. Okay, great defense there by PS2 with the pass breakup. Minor Muniz is going to come back in the game. Didn't even see what it was, but the injury was low. And PS2 is actually in the zone. Dalton Kincaid gets the reception. If we stop this, I might call timeout. And a sack! Majai Sanders! Huge sack there to get us the ball back with probably 25 seconds. KJ Hamler is going to return the punt here. Don't see much of him. Oh my gosh, and number 53 just came screaming. That was Dodson. Let me see if we can cook something up for John Wolford here. go has him and overthrows Greg Dulcich by a large margin I still want to I still want to try to cook something here this might be this might be bad oh Michael Pittman what a reception and he gets out of bounds we're staying in this one Trying to get in field goal range for Rodrigo Blankenship. And he overthrows and it's an interception. Trying to get Greg Dulcich in a tight window. And the Bills are going to have the football. First interception now thrown by John Wolford. Oh my god. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, please. Please just make the tackle. That's all I ask. Alright. Luckily, stopping. It was a big run, but stopping the touchdown is Caden Stearns. And we are at halftime. And this is the middle part of the video. If you are liking this, or if you are enjoying this, you want to see more of this, please follow and, and subscribe to Muto Stuff on Twitch and on YouTube. This is everything that happened, and we do not care. But shout out to the Vikings beating the Saints. Just try to get back in this game. There we go. Raheem Hines is the number zero. I see he's going to get a solid gain to the 24. Here we go now. One on one, and Stefan Diggs just burns Jonathan Jones again. Jonathan Jones, and now because of that, Stefan Diggs is in the zone. We're going to follow him, and that's Dalton Kincaid, I think, there getting the reception. The rookie, second reception of the game. Again, I'm switching a run here out of gun. This might be crazy, and it is kind of crazy. PS2 almost makes the interception on Stefan Diggs. As he'll get a few uh, on a few yards on that second time matching up. Don't even know what to speak right now, because Stefan Diggs is just torching every single thing that we do. No matter what we do. Baron Brown to make a tackle. Good job. He's having a big play. Or not just a big play, a big gain. Now oh, where's our where's our other linebacker? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Baron Brown now. And now has another slant. And Drew Sanders gets trucked by Gabe Davis. And we 
get and third and two is now where we are. I'm gonna say, I right. is what it is. Do what you gotta do. I was trying to read the run, and Damian Harris is gonna get it and get a huge gain. Jonathan Jones makes the tackle. And now, a run here, and Caden Stearns makes a good tackle. They got a short gain of three. This is where we need to lock up. One-on-one -on, -one on the outside. And again, they just chucked to Stefan Diggs. There's just no way of stopping him tonight. Now, Caden Stearns with a good touchdown saving tackle, but it feels like he's just preventing the inevitable. Now, I don't think this is going to be a run, but it might be. Josh Allen now with the snap. He is going to run. Baron Browning make a tackle, and he does again. Baron Browning, have yourself a night. Seven tackles, two sacks, probably two tackles for loss, if not more. And here's a big third down stop that or for, that we need. And I'm not able to make it there. I was running back. I was trying to run back. And Dalton KK, the rookie, makes the touchdown. And a lot of this third quarter was taken away by the Bills. 24 to 7 now is the score. Marquez Callaway going to take it out again. Okay. He'll get a solid gain this time. 20, up to the 25. I'll take that. John Wolfer needs to show something. This is our last stretch of effort here that we can give. If we don't score a touchdown here, this game is most likely over. going to lead with the draw and get to second and inches. We need to do st more of that. Now play action from second and inches. Tredavious White kind of cooked there, but not great throw by John Wolford. Under throws it. And we're going to try to pick up this third down with Javante Williams. And we're going to get it and more. And he's going to get his 40th yard of the game. Now let's see. There's been a couple updates. Maybe they fixed screens. <laughs> maybe, maybe. That earlier screen worked. Michael Carter is going to get a, a, a first down. It seems like they might have fixed screens. That was scary, though. That was very scary. And these short passes is... John Wolford's game. Here we go. Now, Jerry Judy's just going to cook Tredavious White. Love to see that. Go with a hurry up. Bring Jerry Judy across again. I was going to I was going to take a shot. I was trying to take a shot. Not enough time for John Wolford to throw. And now it's third and three. And I just realized this probably most likely will not be a time for Greg Dulcich. And that there's that's intercepted. Of course, I mean, throwing at Trey White, probably not the right idea. I saw Judy. Everybody just felt locked down there. Let's look at that again, because that looked ridiculous. John Wolford snaps it. This is locked. That's Michael Pittman is locked. This is locked. This is locked. And this is X-factored. But is open. Throw the ball right here. That shouldn't... Oh, my bad. Zooming out. That shouldn't be intercepted. And I throw the ball a little bit late. Try to bring him down. 
and he just gets in front of it and intercepts that. That's more than likely going to be game. I don't see foresee an insane fourth quarter comeback happening. Where is Patrick Sertain going, bro? He is not ha – this is probably, I don't want to say a, his first bad game, but this is definitely not – he's not looking like himself, you know. And 24 to 7 is now the score after the, after the third. Here we go. What's crazy is uh, this might not be the end of getting a torch because we have to play Justin Jefferson in the next episode. That is uh, that is not going to be fun. If you think uh, Stefan Diggs was cooking, Justin Jefferson is going to kill us. Baron Browning, though. The one, the one highlight injures Damian Harris there. The one highlight of this game has been Baron Browning. Josh Allen sees something. Let's try to make a check. And Gabe Davis gets Pat Sertan. That's a first down. He has 74 yards, and that's been PS2's main guy. Now Naheem Hines with his first carry gets blown up by Drew Sanders. Now second and eight. Good job, Drew Sanders again making that play. I definitely felt like Stefan Dix is open there, but if it isn't he open on every play? We're going to run this nickel trap again. See if we can do something. Oh my gosh, bro. And like, what am I supposed to do there? Like, that's a ridiculous concept. Obviously, I gotta play farther back, but it's a little bit too late for doing that now. Naheem Hines actually is gonna get stopped there. He had a touchdown, but the fullback blocked Drew Sanders into him. We're just gonna go for the run here. And he's just going to get pushed in by number 71. And 30 to 7 is the score right now. 31 to 7 is about to be the score. This is actually somehow slightly better, I think, than the Chiefs lost anyways. And we're just going to see if our offense can do literally anything. As this is definitely going to be a loss, a tough loss. We still have a positive record. Going to be 5-4 and four after this game, which is crazy to think about. But Jerry Judy now open here. He's actually been pretty solid this game for what for what's it's worth, you know. Michael Carter going to get the ball here. I just wanted our offense to show something, you know. And there's something. Michael Carter, great block. Quinn Muniz hurt again. He's been hurt now so many times this year. I really do not care. We have one-on-one -on -one with Trey White and Michael Pittman Jr. And John Wolford under pressure. His throws under pressure might be better than his actual throws. The rookie Marvin Mims is going to get it, and he has broken ribs. He'll be out for a while. Marvin Mims' first reception of the game for the rookie. And now, oh, my God, that's just great defense. Von Miller gets in there and gets his first sack of the game. Our first sack allowed. Ah, uh, try to bounce it out with Michael Carter. Couldn't do it. 
Third and 17 now. No. One on one. Michael Pittman. Oh my gosh. Great play by Micah Hyde there. Now let's just, uh, you know, run something crazy, see if it works. Probably won't. Oh, you have inside leverage. Oh my gosh. You know what's crazy too? Is I had an open man. But it felt like as soon as I threw the ball, he was open. Like <sighs> this is this is my bad, I guess. I'm supposed to see this Marvin Mims right here, because that's a great clear out. But like, does John Wolford even make this throw re realistically? This is a good throw too, but then Teron Johnson just makes the play. So. Bad, bad by me, bad by Madden all day. Boogie Basham for sure is not getting an upgrade. Okay, okay, guys. Josh Allen's going to run for... We didn't see that a lot. Um, but not like it would have mattered had he been running all day. Anything would have worked against this defense. Okay, great block. Naheem Hines is going to get six. Have the sixth rank rushing defense, but uh, don't think we've been able to stop the run today. Don't think we've been able to stop anything today. That's partially because our offense just likes not being on the field. I'm like Ken Parent Browning just all over the field today. He's probably going to be asking for uh, for a look at next week against the Vikings because he's played out of his mind today. Oh, and then he gets juked by Naheem Hines there. But I'll give him the benefit of a doubt. It wasn't me. That was him, you know. This. No points in the second half. Sean Wolford, 12 for 25, 161, a tutty, and two interceptions. Held Josh Allen just two touchdowns, but he was cooking us all day. We were able to run the football, but we were just too far behind to continue doing that. Javante Williams and Michael Carter would have had way better days had they got more reps. Only six rushes and four rushes from them. Stefan Diggs cooked us all day, 105 and a tutty. Gabe Davis had 74 on PS2. Jerry Judy, 63 yards and a tutty. Everybody else, kind of gross. Michael Pittman only had two receptions. 14 tackles by Baron Browning all over the field today. Five tackles for loss and two sacks. Obviously, the two picks by Jordan Poyer and Tredavious White. But Baron Browning was was insane this game. Baron Browning was looking like prime Ray Lewis this game. And we actually have an upgrade for John Wolford after that game. He's going to need it. Get his accuracy up a bit. And, of course, the injury... To Quinn Ewers. We're actually going to get Jonathan Cooper and Nick Bonito back next week, so that's pretty good. But he's out for six weeks, which is basically going to be the entire rest of the season. Um, do we have. What's our backup looking like? It's not like it matters, but um, our backup is Luke Waddenberg, so I don't know if we're going to need to get another backup. I'm sure, our players are highly disappointed in us. Yep, you did not. You didn't. You didn't get it done today. You did indeed not get it done today. We're gonna advance to the next week as we fall to five and four. Are we still gonna be in our division? Uh, 
Yes, maybe. I want to say yes. The, the I don't I don't think the Chiefs played anyone. Maybe the Chiefs were on bye is what I'm assuming. Unless I go to like schedule and then come back out and they have a new record, which is totally possible. Um. And okay, so I think the Chiefs were on bye. So we're both five and four now. Still winning our division. You know we 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 went splitsies with them. Weekly awards is for sure Baron Browning with 14 tackles and two sacks. And Kirk Cousins, Captain Kirk, Kirk O'Chains had four passing touchdowns last week. He might do – if he did that on the Saints, he's probably going to go for seven against us. In another primetime game, eight uh, – I, I, think, I think it's a Sunday night primetime game. We're going to be playing Kirk Cousins and the Vikings. So – if you are excited to see that next episode, please, again, like and subscribe. If you enjoy seeing us lose, like and subscribe. And, you know, this is this is just the beginning. This is, this is really the beginning. Broncos country, as always, let's ride.